What did you think of this week's episode, Brian? Oh my god, dude. My feelings. <laughs> my feelings, man. Dude, Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, I watched it almost like three times. I was so like, did you really? uh -huh. I watched I watched the fight at least like four times, like the full fight. <laughs> so, the, I, th the this... choreography, the soundtrack. Yup. Oh man, that's my that's my oh. fight of the year. Like, so Brian, like oh. I, I like, I was so hyped for the fight. I clipped it in our Discord. The the scene with, uh, Nobora oh. and, and Yuji back to back. Like that was like my man. highlight of the fight. Cause I'm not the biggest like metal fan either, but that music choice. Dude, oh, thank you. That soundtrack. Like, that's how you force me to listen to soundtracks. Cause that's that's why I remember it because of the, the 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 choreography. So the did this fight. Did this was this fight better than like uh like AOT? Like, like did this did they have like better fights than like AOT did? <laughs> I mean, we didn't what? Did AOT fight have this fight season? Teams? I would say yes. I would say so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hundred percent. Okay, my yeah. bad. I don't know. Like <laughs> <laughs> out of here. Shit. I don't know. Oh, I'm just wondering. Bullshit, bro. Hey, really everybody still hyped for AOT. Shredded. AOT. Yeah. That's all you hear. So You're lucky I dropped this right. Otherwise, I'd be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was really random to add in, but sure. <laughs> but that's funny because Justin was saying it was like his favorite fight. No, whoa, the, I think the... I was telling Taylor too. Like this show has easily been my number one, and maybe I'm biased no. in the sense of like I know what's going to happen in Attack on Titan, but like this show just like gets this me is, hyped. Like no, this other. is definitely it's like probably my... because I don't know what's to come. But this is definitely my favorite shonen, like or new shonen. Like, like yes. I didn't know anything about coming in, and like it's really like, like. It just blew so up. It just blew up. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, I don't, I don't think we're the only ones. I mean, manga sales just flew like, uh, was it yeah. just, a, was Dude, it crazy? Every character is just so badass, and you, yeah. you know, yeah. you care about. It. There's no like side characters. It's like, oh, whatever. Like, yeah, they're all, they're all very know. different. They were able to spend, I mean, plenty of time just going through a backstory to at least, like, for us to get that connection with those characters. I mean, even uh, even that one guy that they uh, basically we all thought was going to be a main of the like a part of the main uh, cast, where we got to spend Junpei? a few episodes. With, yeah, Junpei. Yeah. And then they, they 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 even have him in the end, and then they just killed him off. And then like like even like that That's guy. Like, yeah, really I can't forget, man. I still miss my boy Junpei. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll yeah, say for... what, could have what could have been. What could have been. I was gonna say this week's episode too. Um, again, keep going back to Yuji and how at the beginning he was so like he was so desperate to. Whom, not killing one, but then like here, like he's he has to come to grips with like like he's killed plenty of people now, and he's still trying to struggle with it. But he knows he knows that like he has to do it. Like he's not like he's not trying yeah, to. Yeah, Doctor Stone. <laughs> he's got actual. He's got actual growth, yeah, and there like, are uh, consequences. But hey, that's rude. the way the so real I, world I, works. I really like that yeah. about like about his like the way they're developing this character. It's like he, I, even though he's still like struggling with. The, with the choice like he he's you know he needs to do it yeah he's committing to it and like yeah. he's just like he'll keep agonizing more but he's just got to commit because he knows it's like what he has to do yeah and i say too i am such a big fan of just the you know callbacks to the black flash concept where you know <laughs> both in this episode you have nobara and yuji both entering this state and i love how i think every time that black flash has been brought up it's always the dialogue where nanami is the one narrating <laughs> the oh, yeah. you know concept of like you know when the they zone. enter this, this the zone. zone i can't help but bring up kuroko no basuke because they have the zone <laughs> yeah, in that as well. <laughs> but no it's it's hype as hell and like i didn't know that uh the black flash was something that like anybody could really enter in i i, I guess when we first saw it i more thought like oh this is something unique to yeah Yuji and his too. abilities yeah but now that i've learned like okay that's something that all jujitsu sorcerers can enter into it's like oh fuck like this is something really badass. So, like, I mean, I mean this, yeah, the possibilities are <laughs> even oh, her, it's so hype, dude. Like, even her, her ability, her, like her abilities, like it, at first, like, like I remember at the beginning thinking like, what the hell is she going to do with like just hammer and nails? And it's just like the way it's evolving yeah. to just create this craziness. I, I like, thought it was just more of a reliability because like, because I think she has, if she relies on a nail, it's, it's like, it's like, you know, a bow user, you get run out of your arrow. So uh, I'm yeah. thinking like, she's going to run out of nails. So what's she going to do when she's out of ammo? But then like, I guess that hasn't been an issue yet. So Dude, we, still, we, still never, we still never got that second hit with that squeaky hammer. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> never got to see what happened. Never let that go. <sighs> yeah. yeah. But no, yeah. It, it, even like when she was like like stabbing herself with the nails with when she had that curse on her, where it just basically the whole complete backfire. And uh she's it was basically just like chicken where she just kept uh, uh driving the nails right into her arm. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I just love the look of these main characters and like the sadistic 
faces. Like we saw it with <laughs> Megumi last week when oh, he yeah. was going, you know, and then we get to see Nobara. Like there are three or four faces that are just like she gives she could be an antagonist with some of these faces <laughs> she's pulling out. Yeah. Like Yeah. It, oh man. All, all, all oh, the main cast is just really bad. And, she, and she's mm-hmm. and she and she's like she's um was it she's not struggling with like the idea of having to kill people on like UG, like where she should have just said, like, yeah, I know we get to kill people, but it's our job. So yo, she's basically she's just like not Sakura realize, move, bitch, get out the way. I'm the new, like, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm not gonna lie, right? At the very beginning <laughs> of the episodes, I was laughing pretty fucking hard. Cause when that like curse seal shit came up, I was dying of laughter. I was like, dude, this is Naruto all over again. Roshi Maru's coming in, cursing these two. I'm like, oh my god, dude. I knew it. I knew it was, there was a connection. <laughs> I, mean, I was laughing so hard. They're taking from the OG, like, oh but they're god. making it they're making it great. So Yeah, dude. Oh, like god. it's oh. it's awesome, dude. Like to reiterate, like I got under like later when they were talking about like having to like kill people and stuff. I can understand both sides. Like Nobara, she's over here saying like, if you're not a person that I particularly care about, I'm not gonna let it bother me. Hmm. And then Yuji on the other hand, he's like he's literally trying to save as many people as he can. But then hmm. like it yeah. just it just hurts yeah. him every time. It's like the people that we are killing, we it with like they have other people that sort of care about them too. You know so. Hmm. Well, like in both ways, I can understand. She, I mean, she even mentioned like during like, during the fight as well, because uh, I don't think she knew that she was uh she was like in a sense killing a person until later on. Yeah. Yep. When she mm-hmm. she's like, oh shit, like that was actually you know an actual the person. The body was like, disappearing and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but she but she was able to like pa- like you know kind of like move past it quicker. At least that's how we were seeing it. Because uh, okay. Yuji was talking through his steps, basically how his like, I I don't want to call it grieving process process, mm-hmm. but just right. like his thoughts kind of were going through the whole thing. Uh, I think the the key important uh, piece of that information wasn't the fact that uh, she was trying to like it was to show that she was able to get over the fact that even though it was like a human being like in yeah. a physical body uh, that you know she was stronger willed because she was able to kill someone. Mm-hmm. I think they brought out the information is because I think her ability requires you to have some kind of physical part of that demon before yeah, you can it. before yeah. she can use her ability. Yeah, I think that's all that signified that during that moment. Yeah. I think the other thing, like we've seen, is like I love just how the villains are getting kind of more and more complex in terms of like their drives for what they're doing. Um, and admittedly, you know, when we do get the the prequel, it'll it'll unveil some information for some drives. So no further spoilers there. Oh, but okay. mm-hmm. um, I love too just like the small detail of when the two brothers die. The third brother, Chosu is playing the game of life game of with Ghetto <laughs> and uh, Mahito. And it's just yeah. so fitting because, you know, they're the antagonists, they're these cursed demons, and they're playing a game, you know, of life. So mm. yeah. just kudos to to the author for just kind of, you know, yeah. these subtle deeds that he enters in and really just keeping everything, like, <laughs> you know, top tier. Like, I don't think there's ever really been a moment where it's just like something's not been explained or something's just kind of been like really weak yeah. like everything's well, been backed not, up yeah, well, yeah. I mean, not, not not weak but like we haven't really seen much of like the villains yet or even sakuna much but i mean i'm not holding mm. that against the author like I, oh. <laughs> I can wait for that till later it's just like it's not really been a focus this first like 24 episodes but i think that's fine so my little uh theory was uh completely out the window when i said like oh maybe like sakuna was gonna uh, you know come like jump back in and basically have megumi eat the finger and then I was completely wrong. No, basically, it was just saying, himself. oh, don't eat the finger yet. And then basically the hand goes and then it eats it anyway. I was like, well, just munches it. that's done. <laughs> so. yeah. Fuck that, right? Oh. Nope. Yeah. So uh, that one didn't work out for me, but, you know. Yeah. And then otherwise, we had the uh, the final moments where, one, Gojo is having uh, Mei Mei, the white-haired girl, like do some investigations, paying her a bunch of money to, to figure out who kind of the rat within Jujutsu High is. And mm-hmm. then... Um, I know it's Brian probably like, you know, the final scenes with uh, Toto and May May when they're talking to the principal. I was being... <laughs> screaming yeah, <how'd> <laughs> out of fucking high. I was like, these people are getting their dues, dude. When he said, am my brother, Yuji, <laughs> I lost my shit. <laughs> it was hype. It was hype. I couldn't help, though. Feel bad for the um the curse voice user. He's the only one from the second year class that they didn't nominate. Oh, oh yeah. I see that. true. So, Shit. but I'm sure he'll get his own. Hopefully, 
Hopefully he's not just written off, but I think so. I mean, he definitely seems like he has like the abilities to be a to be a beast, but I think it's more like the longevity because he wasn't able to really be in that fight for too long. Yeah, yeah with he did have yeah. limitations for sure. Definitely, yeah. I'm sure that'll be uh, something worked on. Oh yeah. man, no, oh, the show I'm is. Gonna, I'm gonna miss this show, dude. Same, was nice. <laughs> Same, yeah. But I mean, I, look, like I said, I went and read the damn prologue, and now I'm trying to stop myself from just reading the, the, rest, the rest manga the art. It's like, <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, tough. Well, yeah, the prologue is comes out. I know we mentioned at the beginning. Um, so uh, the prologue is supposed to be set in Japan for to to release. Was it the winter? Winter. Yep. Winter. Okay. So most likely we're not gonna get a second season until after the movie at some point. So it, it's gonna be a while. Yeah. That makes mm-hmm. it even worse, man. Yep. Yep. <laughs> wait, you're, wait. It said that. The next season is coming out in winter. No, no, no. They don't, no, they we don't know when. The, yeah, but there's a movie. The prequel. The movie is in twenty twenty two winter or twenty twenty one. Yep, the movie's mm-hmm. gonna be the prequel. Twenty twenty two. So it's like it's January. It's like early early twenty twenty. Oh, is it really? Okay. okay uh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah so. so then, hopefully, as we were theorizing, at the end of the movie, there's gonna be some information about the next season. Yeah, because I think mm. hopefully. Um, the manga didn't come out. It came out recently, like I think only three or four years ago or something. So I don't know. How yeah, much, it's fairly you know, new. Well, that was much, another like... thing. That, that, that was another thing in the anime news where I think the didn't the the author say like there's two years left or he can see it being done like in around two years. Yeah, he had some interview where he said like guess... he has you know kind of the ideas and concepts of where he wants things to go. He just mm-hmm. said like it could very well be stuff of like how do I get there? Right. That like, would no, like, you know no, make it like, otherwise. Nothing firm or anything just like yeah yeah just, yeah. just him just you know some rough ideas living. yeah but at least it's not something where he's like hey i have no idea where i'm gonna end like just you know stay tuned yeah so but again nothing set in stone yeah, yeah. this is another one of my top top uh top shows of the season though yep hell yes <laughs> yeah i think if yeah. anything it's definitely one that we all have to be very adamant with sasha to yeah oh yeah I, I, we have to yeah I love, he'll love it I, that's I yeah I he, people really like the show. We just All need right. Justin. To, we just need Justin to yeah, speak. Yeah, don't worry. As his so. inside informant, I'll I'll sway him. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah, that, that'll be it for Jutsu Kaisen. Hopefully, we see more of it in the future. Definitely, we'll see the movie when it comes out. God damn man, it's gonna be a lot. Give me that good stuff straight to my veins, baby. It's gonna take so long. <laughs>